Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today we are going to unbox a diamond painting. So, was waiting for this for a long, 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 long time from <laughs> AliExpress. We know how things have been taking forever to get to us over here, which, you know, in this day and age and under, under the circumstances is totally understandable. Um, and it's not like it's a matter of life and death that we uh, receive our diamond paintings, right? Especially when a person has so many <laughs> waiting in the wings in the first place. So now, of course, the box is a little bent up, but I actually am surprised that I got it in a box because many, many times, most of the time, you actually don't receive them in a box anymore unless they are larger ones. Sometimes you do. So now I see this one has even been taped shut. That could have maybe been at customs if they opened it and wanted to check the contents and then just taped it back shut. So let's let's untape it <laughs> so that I can tape it back shut later. <laughs> okay, get this stuff out of the way. Here we have the canvas. Which again, a little beat up. We'll see. This looks like it looks to be up on the color chart. Um, we'll see how that affects the canvas. And then uh, your standard toolkit. Um, but it is the metal tweezers, which is nice. It's the real pointy ones. Big thing of wax. Nine placer. The uh, pen with the grippy on, and I do like these boats with the spout. So this is one of your nicer um, toolkits. And then let me reach into my little black bag, you know, the box. And I think that's it. Yep. Okay. Oh, look at these pretty blues. Okay. We'll get to the pretties later. Okay, so it is nice and protected here with the plastic wrapping, which I do like. Sometimes, uh, you know, every once in a while you get a canvas that's really dirty. I've seen some unboxings where the canvas just smelt like it had gotten wet or something. So I always like it when they are wrapped. Just in the off chance something would happen on its way over here to the States. Let's see if I can just peel that off then. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Like I said, I needed another diamond painting, like I needed a hole in the head, but this thing was so, so pretty. I'm just going to bring you down, let you look at the thumbnail. Sometimes it's real hard to tell anyhow. Um, but this is a wolf in um, with a waterfall behind it. And I'm thinking I have an inventory sheet. No, I don't because, oh, that's nice. Um, these are all set up in baggies already for me. Yay. Okay, so there is no inventory sheet in that case. So I thought I'd have one with um, a bigger picture to show you, but I don't. So this is a 50 by 50. Let me zoom you back out. It's a 50 by 50, and there are 40 colors. It did come on a foam roller, which is always nice, especially when the box gets demolished. And I did order, this is a full round. I couldn't remember whether I ordered round or square. Used to always be squares, always, always. And now lately I've been ordering rounds because for me they are just so much easier. I do prefer the look of the squares uh, when it's finished. But as far as actually doing the diamond painting, I think the rounds are, yeah, much simpler and more relaxing, possibly. 
So let's take a look at the picture. For those of you who are new to diamond painting, when you get one with the opaque coverings like this, number one, that means that it is not poured glue, means that it is the double-sided sticky tape um, that's on here. The problem with that is you can have a problem with the rivers and bubbling and stuff sometimes um, in these canvases. Whereas if you have the, and that's with these opaque coverings, if you have the clear covering on it, that means the glue is poured and you typically, typically do not have a problem with those. Those are usually as smooth as glass. Um, so, um, yeah. But we shall see. When you take your opaque covering off, um, it typically will flatten the canvas. So before you start your canvas or your diamond painting, now this is unusual <laughs> to have just these little bitty strips like this. Usually they're bigger. It's like, you know, that big. So uh, I usually take these off anyhow and replace them with my square parchment uh, squares. My square parchment squares, yeah. Um, but typically this is what I do, is I pull, <laughs> normally they're not this narrow, but I pull a strip off halfway, kind of check to see how everything looks. And you can see the waterfall in here now. I always kind of push down on here first, the edge before I pull it up so that you push down the tape. And because otherwise sometimes you peel this tape up when you're trying to get just the covering up. Okay, let's take a look at this. And I do see a few little, I can't even call them creases. Um, but it definitely is nothing that is going to affect the actual painting itself. Um, I don't see anything in here. Looking at it up at the light here, that would be a problem at all. I can see kind of a little line where each one of these went, and I'm assuming that may be just the pressure while it was packaged and shipped to me. Um, but again, that's, oh, and very sticky. Wow. Yeah, there's not going to be a problem doing this canvas whatsoever. The symbols look pretty clear. I guess I've, I've seen them a little bit clearer, but definitely nothing that I am going to have a problem with, especially because of the fact that I always use a, a light pad. So... Yeah, this looks really nice. So then I would stick these back down. And then this side of your canvas is already flat. So you can see how nice and flat that is making this. Now you always want to make sure your strips are back down even so that, especially if you're not going to do it right away, you don't want to get things on the sticky part. And then you just take the other side, and again, I kind of smooth this down first before peeling up the corner. You just do it to the other side. And you can always kind of feel there, kind of let go right there. You can always feel when you get to the point where you pull this side back, it, you'll feel all of a sudden let loose a little bit. So you know when you got to that point. Look at all these pretty blues and greens. Oh, this is going to be a gorgeous diamond painting. And because there was a little bit of, you know, some detail to this, I wanted to go bigger than, you know, like a 30 by 40 or even a 40 by 40 because this is a square shape to it. Not a square drill, but a square shape. So um, I didn't even know if I wanted a 40 by 40 and that's why I went with the 50 by 50. But yeah, these colors are gorgeous. Again, I do not see a problem with the canvas at all. And typically with your round drills, you don't have that popping drill problem like you do 
with the squares. Not usually. I'm not saying it can't happen, but um, because the squares you have to fit so tightly, perfectly together. Um, and sometimes they're just a hair big, uh, too big for the canvas itself, and they just fit together too tightly. And yeah, then you start having popping drill problems. But yes, this canvas is very nice and sticky and pretty clear. So I don't think there are no rivers, no problems. This is by Evershine. Okay. And uh, yeah, I've had diamond paintings from them in the past and I've never had a problem with theirs. I will leave a link to this particular diamond painting down below in the description. Um, I know, again, you had a hard time seeing the, uh, what the picture is actually going to be, but I'm going to take a screenshot of this, and uh, that is what you will see in the thumbnail of this particular video. So hopefully that will give you a better idea of what it is going to look like finished. So we'll just take a look at these colors. Now again, these, I just, I love it when they put them in baggies because uh, some of you I know work right out of the baggies. You don't have any setup to do whatsoever. I don't work out of the baggies. Um, and again, for you newer, you newer diamond people folk, that just means that you don't pour them into separate little containers, you know, a tray of, of you know, your little containers for each color. Um, some people just work right from the baggies. Take this, pour it into your tray, work from the tray. When you're done, pour them back into the baggies. I don't do that, but yeah, um, I know a lot of people do. So here we have a bunch of 310s. Uh, so we have the code here, and we have the amount of drills that are in this particular bag. And you always have extra. I've never had a problem with Evershine, most of the companies. Very rarely does a person have a problem with not enough drills. But in the off chance <laughs> that you do run into problems, that is the reason why I save my leftover drills. And we have a big baggie, holy cow. And these are the 939s, which are very close to black. It's just a super duper dark blue. I've never seen them come in this big of a baggie. Evidently, did not fit in one of them. <laughs> they don't have a size in between, evidently. All right, we have some beautiful deep greens, a lot of greens. Look at these beautiful teals and turquoises. Oh, love these colors. Aren't them pretty? Tons and tons and tons of blues. Anybody that likes the color blue, look at these. Wow. So many shades of blue. Holy cow, huh? I can tell there's a lot of water in this picture. Look at these, and it's still going. Wowee, huh? Some kind of vintage grayish blue. Just a few of that one. Kind of a periwinkle. Oh, that's a pretty color. We have some greenish ones. More green. Here we go. Some more blue. This is a pretty blue. Wow. Real deep, deep teal, kind of. And another blue. Yeah, I didn't realize there were so many shades of blue, right? Okay, we do have a few tans in here. And then all kinds. There's a real deep olive green. Oh, there's another blue. <laughs> and yeah, all these. Oh, here's one of my favorites. This beautiful mint green. 747. Yeah. Oh, aren't them pretty? Between that and 550, which is my gorgeous purple color. <laughs> yes, beautiful greens in here too. So, all right, that's enough oohing and on. <laughs> so, 
Yes, very, very nice. I am very happy with this. Does have a lot of symbols in here. You know, I wish they would just standardly go with, you know, A through Z and then start with numbers, right? Um, but yeah, the vast majority of this is symbols. There are a few letters. There's like an N and a T, capital T and a lowercase T, capital A, lowercase A, B, C, P, X. So there are some letters. I would say maybe a third of them are letters and maybe two thirds, well, no, half and half, I would say. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Alrighty, so I thought I would have to zoom out, but no, it's just the fact this diamond painting's kind of big and I got my camera up as far as it goes. <laughs> so you just kind of see in my hands and the drills right now. So that is my latest diamond painting. Um, received a little bit ago, but first got around to unboxing it now. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of this beautiful wolf and waterfall diamond painting. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.